Hi folks, welcome to the tutorial. We'll be covering how to log into the Illuminate environment and also running through the audio setup wizard so you can hear and be heard during our bi-weekly sessions. Um, I'm running Firefox on a Mac, um, so if things look a little different than uh, they do on your computer environment, excuse that. And um, I think the main concepts will, uh, will carry through throughout the tutorial. Also, I'm using Camtasia, which is a screen capture software, um, so I can narrate and show you what's on the screen. That way we can go step by step through the process. So here we go. Let's log into Illuminate. The first step is from our home page, our course home page, um, click Web Conferencing. Okay, here are a few things to note. We have three different sessions for Illuminate set up, and these will last for the whole semester. Um, the one that we're interested in is the bi-weekly class meeting room. That's where we're going to be meeting uh, on Monday nights. Um, the other two, the testing and the open meeting room, I set these up so that if groups later on in the semester want to get together and use Illuminate to meet uh, during group projects or debates, um, go ahead and feel free to. Also, there is a toggle up here for recordings. Now, I haven't made any recordings yet, um, but you can come back after we do an Illuminate session. I'll record each session. You can come back and review the session. Uh, sometimes I'll be doing tutorials for certain technologies, or if you have to miss a class, this is where you can come up to speed on what we covered. So let's click the bi-weekly class meeting room and launch Illuminate. Now, what Illuminate does is it's going to open a Java based applet. All the browsers are different. This is the step where depending on what your setup is, um, I can't tell you exactly what the step is going to be. Uh, my suggestion to you is to click yes, okay, allow for every step that it prompts you to do. In this case it's asking me if I want to open up Java Web Start. I'm going to click okay. Um, if you're on a PC um, working with uh, Explorer or uh, Firefox, you might get a different queue but just click OK. I'll probably get another cue here. And I do. It asks me if I want to allow this application to open, and I'm going to click Yes. And there we go. Illuminate's firing up. It takes a moment to, uh, to start. All right, welcome. You've made it to Illuminate and successfully completed the first part of the assignment which is to log in. Um, this is the interface that you will see when you log into Illuminate and um, notice that there's a list of participants that, that shows all of the people who are attending the session. Right now I'm the only one in the room so it's just showing me. And I'm not going to go too much into Illuminate right now. We'll, do, uh, we'll talk about the tools a little more when we get together next Monday. But I do want to tell you one thing. When you show up, you will hear a sound like this. And you will also see a blinking blue hand raised notifier. Um, just to let you know, when you log in to Illuminate uh, into the room, um, you raise your hand. And that's to let everybody know that somebody new has just arrived. Um, and we'll be able to see here if your hand is raised. And that number one means that I'm first to speak. Um, Illuminate naturally creates a queue uh, and enables us to know who's raised their hand and in what order. So to put your hand down after you've got to the room, you click this button here and your hand's down. I've moved the recording window slightly. Um, you can still see our interface, but now you can see the, uh, the toolbar up here at the top. The second task we're here to achieve is to run the audio setup wizard, which is going to check our speakers and also check our microphone settings so that when you log in next Monday, we will all be able to hear you and you will be able to hear us. So if you go to the tools drop down menu and click on that, you see a number of tools that are included in Illuminate. Go to audio and the very first selection is the audio setup wizard. The audio setup wizard launches, and at this stage, it will vary slightly depending on whether you're on a PC or whether you're on a Mac, but the gist will be the same both ways. First, we're going to test our speaker system, and then we're going to test our microphone system. What's happening here is it would like to open the audio settings for your computer, and you want to say OK. 
So the first task is to test your speakers, and it gives you a play button, So and it's going to give you a message, and can you hear it when you hit play? Welcome to the Illuminate Live Audio Setup Wizard. This wizard will help you set the optimum levels for both your microphone and speakers. Please follow the instructions carefully. At this time... Okay, um, if you were able to hear it, then you should be good to go. You'll be able to hear everybody else when you're in Illuminate. If not, follow the instructions, and if you continue to have problems, then contact me. You're taken to a confirmation screen. You can decide whether you were able to hear the speakers well or not. If you click no, um, it'll give you some tips um, that you can try. If you were able to hear the audio okay, then click yes, and it'll take you to the next step. The next step is to select your input device, and that means your microphone. Um, in this case, um, I, once again, I'm on uh, Firefox on a Mac. Um, this is what it looks like. It's giving me all three of my inputs that are available to me. The built-in microphone, um, the built-in input jack, which is uh, you know, a speaker wire input jack, or the headset. And I'm using a headset right now. It automatically has noted that I'm using the headset and um, it sees that that is the default that I'm using. Um, so I'm going to stick with the headset and I'm going to click OK. Note that that's the default device that I'm using right now. OK, this is probably the most important part of the audio setup. Um, we're going to test our microphone. Now, the first thing that you have to decide is whether you're going to be speaking alone or whether there are multiple people speaking into the same microphone. I think for most of us, we're, um, we're going to be by ourselves, so single talker is probably the, the way to go. Um, I have a, a, a slider here, and that adjusts the microphone level. Um, I'm going to keep it sort of right in the middle to start, and we'll test how that is. The next thing I do is I'm going to hit the record button, and I'm going to record a test message. Test, test. Can you hear my microphone? And hit stop, and I'm going to play it back to hear it um, at what level and whether it was picked up. Test, test. Can you hear my microphone? So it sounded pretty good to me. Um, I can always go back and change that, that level if um, others say that the microphone sounds too low. Um, but from right now, the key to this assignment is to make sure that the microphone is working. So. If you were not able to hear the microphone, click no. It'll take you through some steps um, to try to improve the microphone settings. Um, if you feel confident that the microphone sounded good, then I feel confident that next week at our Illuminate session we'll be able to hear you. Um, so I'm going to say yes, the microphone setup worked, um, at which point we're through the audio setup wizard. So if you encountered any problems along the way and uh, you're not able to troubleshoot these, Send me an email, give me a call, um, I'll try to give you a hand. New Media and Extended Learning also has a specific expert set up um, to help folks with web conferencing issues. So go back to the course overview page and I put that contact information there. Otherwise, I'm really excited to uh, meet all of you and see you in Illuminate next Monday night. Take care.